Today we're going to be talking about Nutanix Calm and the Nutanix Marketplace. So Nutanix Calm has a marketplace which comes preloaded with over 25 different application blueprints. Uh, we, here within Prism Central, we are on the Calm tab, and we see we're on the Marketplace tab within Calm. Down here we see several different applications, and they all have the uh, globe icon in the lower left. That indicates that it's a preceded application that either Nutanix or one of our partners has created for our end users to be able to deploy those applications very easily. So that's one part of the marketplace. The other part is having our end users be able to publish their own applications into the marketplace. So we're going to step through that today. First, I'm going to come to the blueprint and click on my marketplace demo blueprint. This is a pretty simple blueprint. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click publish. So we're going to select it as a new marketplace blueprint. We haven't published this before. So it is important to do the initial version. So we're going to do 1.0.0 and description. So you can imagine if you're an end user uh, and you're a developer within your company, uh, creating an application blueprint and you think it's in a good spot for your end users to be able to use, uh, we'll go ahead and submit that for approval. And now the idea is uh, a project admin can come in and verify that the blueprint is in a good spot and approve that blueprint and then publish the blueprint. So within the marketplace manager tab, we're going to go over to approval pending. We see this marketplace demo. Uh, we can even launch directly from here. So if you're a project admin and you want to make sure that the blueprint is working as expected, uh, you can do that there. And we're going to go ahead and first approve this. So now that it's approved, we can actually go and publish it if we choose to do so. So I'm going to search marketplace there so I don't have to scroll through everything. We see the version that we defined just a little bit ago. We see who the author is, uh, and we see its current status. So I'm going to select uh, a category. This is optional, but let's say, for instance, this is a, a DevOps type blueprint. And now choose which projects you want to share it with. So I'll go ahead and share it with the defaults and the demo projects. We'll hit apply. And once that reloads here, we'll have the opportunity to publish it. So now that it's published, we can come back here to the marketplace and we'll see it pop in. Notice it does not have that globe icon here in the lower left. And we can see that Michael was the author of this blueprint. So we can click on it. We can launch it. Uh, we can clone it. And what we're going to do, say we get some feedback from our end users uh, that we could improve this blueprint. So let's come back to the blueprint itself. Uh, maybe it's something with the package install uh, task that we want to improve. So we're going to come here to package, uh, configure install, and say instead of saying hello world, we want to say hello calm users. We're going to go ahead and save after that update. And we're going to publish it again. Although this time we're going to select new version of an existing marketplace blueprint. So we can choose uh, of the drop down. This is the only one I've published so far, but in your environment you might have many. But go ahead and choose that same uh, marketplace item. And we're going to do uh, version 2.0.0. Notice here we'll see the previous version. So if you know this is a long running application, you can see all of, all of those differences. And now the changed log. So we updated package install task. Submit for approval. Once that's done, we're going to come back into the Marketplace Manager tab. We'll come over here to Approval Pending. And we see some basic information again, the change log and the version. We're going to approve and come to Marketplace Blueprints. Now we see uh, two instances, version 1.0.0 and 2.0.0. So again, I'm going to walk through the same uh, steps to publish it to those projects and with the category of DevOps. I'll hit Apply and then Publish it. Now another option you have is to come in here and 
unpublish 1.0.0. So that's up to you, depending on you know the, the difference in these applications and whether you want users to be able to have that choice to do 1.0 or 2.0. Uh, just for this uh, demo, I'm gonna leave 1.0.0 published. So we come back to the marketplace. Uh, we'll see now we have the option. So we can do 1.0.0. Uh, we can see the change log as well. We can do 2.0.0 and go ahead and launch that. Today's video was about the Nutanix Marketplace, global apps, and local apps. Thanks for your time.